Jesse Ibido and I welcome you once again back to my YouTube channel right so if you're just seeing me or you're just watching my video for the very first time I am Jesse Ibido like I said and I want to welcome you especially right I want to encourage you to actually hang on you know to the end of this video because this is a continuation of what we've done before you know talking about how to play the trumpet like a pro Right, so I'm a trumpet player, I'm a music educator, a musician, recording artist. You can try and read the short bio about me in the description below. And as well, you can follow me on IG at jesse underscore ibidum. Just before we go straight away into the business of the day, I want to inform you that my private music and trumpet online classes is pretty much active and effective, right? So for those of you who really want to get the best and comprehensive knowledge or teaching about music, about trumpet and the act of trumpet playing, right? Feel free to reach out to me, you know, via my email address or DM me on WhatsApp, right? And book your session. Going straight away into the business of the day, this is the continuation video of how to play the trumpet like a pro part two, right? So if you're yet to see the part one, I want to encourage you to just pause this video right here, right? And go and watch the part one so we can be on the same page. So I'll be talking about the other elements discussed in the first video. You know, we actually addressed five elements. We talked about the approach, we talked about the spacing, we talked about dynamics and articulation, we talked about tone and sound, and we talked about choice of notes. So in the first video, we were able to analyze the concept of ornamentation as it relates to sound and the tone. Right, so if you've not seen that video, I mean, it's important that you actually go and watch the video first. We were able to analyze the concept of sound and the tone as it relates to ornamentation. So I want us to look into dynamics and articulation. Understanding these two words is very important and that's why I want to define each of these words. So we have articulation and we have dynamics. Right, so defining dynamics is the forces or properties that stimulate growth, development or change within a system or process while articulation is the clarity in the production of successive notes right so I want us to pay attention to just two words from this definition for articulation is the clarity why for dynamics is the properties right so property is relative to dynamics why clarity is relative to articulation so let's try and get practical with these definitions right so i will try and demonstrate what the concept of articulation is you know so i'm going to give you two different kind of uh, practical demonstration right so this is the first one and the other one so you're going to notice that what i just finished playing now is relating to the definition of articulation right so like i defined initially i said articulation is the clarity in the production of successive notes right so from the two uh, demonstrations right now you can see that the first one have more of detached feeling the other demonstration was not detached either so everything was just played smoothly right no break technically describing these two um demonstration you get to see that at some point for the first one uh, my breath was broken you know I had this um, 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 my, um, a feel of tongue in right while the other one just had a, a, a smooth plane with just one breath describing the concept of articulation we can say that we have two major type of articulation or two major categories of articulation the first one is the legato and the other one is the staccato now legato means to be played smoothly staccato is means detached so the technical word for tongue is staccato and the technical word for slurs is legato right so i'm going to give you another demonstration right um, showing the tongue in um, technique and um, the other one showing the slur techniques right so just <laughs> Right, so everything here was played with just one breath, slurred. Right now, let me try and use the tongue in now. You know, so you hear something like. I'm dwelling more on the tongue in techniques because I feel most young trumpet players don't have a proper understanding of this concept. Right, so in this video, we're talking about the three kinds of tongue in techniques commonly used by professionals. Right. 
the aim is to make you sound like a professional, right? So I'm trying to make sure, you know, every of the elements that most of the professionals use when it comes to their incorporating to their plane, rather, you know, is what we are discussing about, is what I'm trying to expose you to. So the first uh, tonguing technique is the single tonguing, and this uses just one syllable, which is the ta, right? And basically what you're using here, technically, is your, um, your front stroke, you know, the front stroke ta, right? Now, the double tonguing makes use of two kind of strokes, the front and back stroke, which is the taka, 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 right? While the triple tonguing makes use of the um, front stroke and double back stroke. So, taka, ka, taka, ka, taka, ka, one single front stroke and two back strokes. So let me try and give you an example of what I'm trying to say. So we have ta ka ka ta ka ka ta ka ka ta ka ka right ta ka ka ta ka ka. Let me demonstrate that so you can see or you can hear either. Ta 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 ta. Right now the double tongue, like I said, is just um, two strokes front and back. Right, taka 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 taka. Now this is it. So that's for the double tongue. Now for the triple tongue, we have something like this. Right. So these are the three kinds of tonguing commonly used by professionals and I want you to actually take our time to really break this down and practice